very difficult for a guy with the fighting style of a Arturo Gata to go in and outbox a guy who's only been boxing his entire career. That's all Ivan Robinson ever did. He was always noted as a boxer. In the amateurs, in the professional ranks, he's always been a boxer. It was easier for Arturo to outbox Tracy Patterson because both of them were bangers slash boxers. Therefore, he could take another banger and outbox him. But this kid is not a banger. This kid is strictly a boxer, and it would be crazy for Arturo to strictly try to outbox Arturo. I mean, um, does Ivan Robinson. Ivan Robinson. If he goes and does that, he's going to be fighting Ivan Robinson's fight, I think. Well, and that's what Ivan Robinson believes. He is as confident as any man could be that he's going to do the same thing he did in the first fight. And one thing's for sure. If this bout is any better than its predecessor, it is a lock choice for 1998's fight of the year. Because chapter one was one we won't forget for a long, long time. August 22. Arturo Gatti and Ivan Robinson battled in that weekend's fight of the year. Gatti, enhancing his reputation as the most exciting fighter of the decade, brawled ten dramatic rounds with the stylish boxer from Philadelphia. And with Thunder Gatti in the ring, we've learned to expect crescendos of drama. Ivan Robinson with a tremendous start in round number one. And here it is, a minute into the fight and Gatti's left eye is already puffing. My whole thing was run over there and get respect. And I had to do something to get that edge because I was going in as a 4-1 to underdog. First half of the round has belonged to Robinson. Second half of the round has belonged to Thunder Gatti. That was kind of got worried a little bit because my mind was telling me to do something, but my physically I couldn't do it. Something was missing, I didn't know what it was. Robinson just targeting Gatti. Firing combinations and landing punch after punch. Gatti says, give me more. By the third round, I did feel pretty comfortable. I felt, though, that I had set the tone, and I thought, though, that I was doing whatever it took to be winning the fight so far. After three rounds of spirited warfare, Robinson was clearly ahead on the judges' scorecards. Gotti, left eye now cut and swollen, already needed to make something happen. Right hand over the top by Gotti. It is a clear knockdown, and it puts Gotti back in the fight in terms of the scoring. That's when I knew that the fight was changing right there when I heard him. And because I really didn't throw it hard, and he went down. Robinson stunning Gotti inside. Arturo not throwing. Robinson with a chance for a knockout. Gotti holds on. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe this? This is unbelievable. Every fight, that fight, pretty much are battles. It's just the way I perform and, and I fight with my heart. Honestly, going into the 10th round, I said to myself, the only way Arturo is going to win this fight is if he knocked me out. Gatti again. 44 seconds to go. This would be the miracle of all miracles if he's able to pull it off. Robinson trying to hold. Gatti looking for one big clincher. I knew I would have trouble finishing him off because I was really tired. Contract called for an immediate rematch, so both men headed back to the gym. Having trained together in the past, these friendly foes have conflicting ideas on why they should do it again. I would really like fought like, at 50 percent Gary. He's gonna fight 110 percent Gary this time. Why would he, you know, say I'm only fighting a 50 percent of Toro? That's just a cop out. Really, the way I feel in my heart. I love a Toro, but this is personal now. Robinson, training straight through since September, wants to prove his victory wasn't a fluke. Working with longtime trainer and father figure Butch Cathay, his plan is to follow through with the same strategy that won them the first fight. Box, move, bang. Gotti, on the other hand, made changes in his quest for redemption. Moving on to a third trainer in as many fights, he's now entrusted longtime Lou Duva associate Ronnie Shields with the task of refining his kill-or-be-killed style. When I first started training him, I told him, I said, look, I'm not going to take away from anything that you have been doing because I love everything he does, but we need to work a little bit more on defense. The only thing I want him to think about, I got to move my head and I got to punch behind it and win the fight. Rarely does the sequel live up to the original, but put together an explosive warrior like Gotti and the Philadelphia throwback like Robinson, and we might find ourselves with a new fight of the year. This rematch is going to 
fix everything up this time by being 100 percent people forget about the last fight if there was one thing i would say to him i would tell him i love him and i take this beating like a man tale of the tape for chapter two of ivan robinson and arturo Gotti. you can see they are very similar in age height weighed in Gotti right at the limit robinson a pound and a quarter under Tonight you can see that Ivan has gained 12 and a quarter pounds since the weigh-in and Arturo has gained 15. Two-inch reach advantage for Robinson. He tries to stick the jab and move. Punch that numbers, Larry. And these numbers will tell the story of the first fight. Both threw about the same number of punches. Robinson was more accurate. And that held also for jabs. If Gaddy's going to do better, he's got to do better than those numbers with his jab. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Thunder Letterman. <laughs> the Arturo Gaddy Ivan Robinson fight is scheduled for 10 rounds using those unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. Non title. There's no standing gate count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the tenth and final round. Jim. All right, Harold. Arturo Gatti comes out first. Originally a native of Montreal, French and Italian heritage, now lives in northern New Jersey. This is regarded by opposing fighters as his home court, and he gets tremendous crowd support, win or lose, here in Atlanta City. I ran into a woman an hour or so ago here at the fight. She said, I love to gamble, but Arturo Gatti is more exciting than gambling. That's for sure. A man whose two consecutive losses have done little to stem his market appeal. 29 wins. Three losses, including the two this year, the man Freddie and Ivan Robinson, an early loss in his career to a cutie named King Solomon. 24 KOs for Gatti. He's had seven fights that have gone the distance, and he's won five of them by decision. Get your asses out, y'all! And now here comes the mighty Ivan Robinson. Robinson graduated from the same high school as Simon Gratz in Philadelphia that produced Meldrick Taylor. His wife is a college grad who works in the Head Start program, has two young children. And this will be by far his biggest purse tonight. He's earning $400,000. He earned $57,000 in their first fight. And the record for Ivan Robinson, losses to Philip Holliday and Pito Cardona, those two losses back to back. Since then, he's unbeaten, only 10 KOs in 26 fights. He doesn't try to beat you up, he tries to outbox you. But he was much more aggressive than some expected him to be in the first bout against Gotti. And as you watch this upcoming fight, you can log on to www.hbo.com slash boxing to chat and score each round of tonight's action, www.hbo.com slash boxing. Now let's go to ring announcer Mark Barrow for the pre-fight introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, before we introduce tonight's main event of the evening, HBO Sports and the world of boxing would like to recognize the passing of yet another legend in our great sport. For 27 years he graced the ring, 11 years as the light heavyweight champion of the world, and he had as many as 145 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, the sad passing of truly one of the greatest, if not the greatest, the old mongoose, Archie Moore. At this time, we would like to play our traditional 10 bell salute in his memory.
Hall of Famer Archie Moore, may he rest in peace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Mark G. Edis Arena at the Trump Taj Mahal Casino Resort on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, main events in association with Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, this Bud's for you presents the HBO main event of the evening, the rematch of the fight of the year. Ten rounds, lightweights. Your judges at ringside, assigned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board from New York City, George Colon, from Trenton, New Jersey, Joe Pasquale, and from Atlantic City, New Jersey, Gene Williams. Your referee for this event from Sayerville, New Jersey, Benji Estevez. Introducing now the principals first, in the blue corner to my right, wearing the all-black trunks, weighing in at 135 pounds, with a professional record of 29 victories, three defeats. He has 24 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Jersey City, New Jersey. Introducing Arturo. Wearing the black trunks and the gold trim, he weighs in at 133 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, 26 victories, two defeats, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the pride of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Introducing Ivan Mighty Robinson. Robinson, 10 rounds, lightweights. Okay, men, doing it again. Again, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, touch up, and good luck to both of us. Gaddy says he hates having to fight from desperation, but this is a desperate fight for him. Will that make a difference? Ready, the chant begins in the crowd. Gotti, Gotti, Gotti. His fans have an unequal passion for their man. Round one begins, and as we've already shown you tonight, Gotti is prone to great difficulty with his left eye when properly assaulted by an opponent in round one. And Robinson sneaks in a jab. It starts off briskly. Robinson surprised everybody in the first fight by jumping right on Gaddy and establishing that he was quicker and willing to mix, but he's a little bit more re resourceful right here. Robinson threw 112 punches in round one of the first fight and said yesterday, well, I try to do something a little different at the start of every fight, so you might not see the same thing. Robinson popping his jab, and accurately so early on. Gaddy going to the body. Gotti is boxing him, like he said, but he's aggressively boxing him. He can win a fight like this. Using, moving his head quite a bit, like right there. And he has to move his head because Robinson is a pinpoint puncher. Gotti actually slipped the Robinson jab there. I'm not sure he was able to do that in the first fight. You hear trainers telling fighters to move their heads all the time, Roy. Can you punch while you're moving your head? Yeah, you can punch while you move your head, but the one thing I like to say about Arturo already is that he showed improvement from that first fight because he made an adjustment already. But already the redness begins around Arturo's left eye, and after Arturo landed a vicious left-right combination, Robinson came back with one of his own. Now Robinson moving to his left and jabbing as he does, and landing on Arturo's face. Uppercut and a left hand straight by Gotti. Robinson lands a left and a right of his own. The biggest punch for, for Gotti to deal with here is Robinson's right uppercut. 
Because? Because he's always wide open for when his hands are spread. The way uh, Gotti holds his hands always allows Arturo Gotti to land that right uppercut on the inside. And last fight, he totally dominated uh, Arturo Gotti with that right uppercut. Gotti giving a much better account of himself in round one tonight. Robinson landing and effective in the first round, but not swarming Gotti the way he did August 22. Arturo looking more energetic, with more head movement, and the left hook to the body can be a good weapon for it. And he sneaks in a right hand along the ropes and rallies against Robinson as the second stick down in round one. And here comes the mighty Ivan. They're off to another start. And Robinson smiles at Gotti as he did so frequently four months ago. He likes to fight. He can't stay on the ropes, baby. You got to go to the center. You must go to the center, son. You okay. must. You must. All right. You got to jazz. Please jazz. Right. Jazz. You're trying to count on my jazz. Okay. Please don't worry about it. Keep don't, your hands don't worry up. about trying to fight him, Alvin. Don't worry about trying to fight him. He's supposed to be going. Right. Okay. Now what's what? Keep stepping that way. You understand? You move. You started moving your head good. Then all of a sudden, you just stop. Come on. You gotta constantly remind yourself, okay? Now listen to me. Look, move that head, move that head. Keep the pressure on this guy like that. Start throwing more uppercuts when you get in close. As soon as you get in there, let them uppercuts go, okay? And then move that head when you finish. When you finish, punch and step around the guy. Here's one of several good combinations that Robinson landed in the first fight. In the first round, excuse me. He's just a faster-handed fighter. Gaddy's going to have to fight through that in the hopes of catching him in the second half of the fight. But while there's some swelling around Gaddy's eyes, by no means the kind of difficulty we've seen him experience in so many of his previous bouts. Robinson comes out and starts round two with a combination. Gaddy fires back a combination of his own. And there's the head movement that you heard Ronnie Shields begging for between rounds as Arturo is actually able to slip a couple of punches. Yeah, and Larry's asking, could you punch with, while moving your head? You're supposed to punch in a rhythm out of that. Once you get your head in that certain rhythm, you punch like you did just then. He went outside and came back with the punch. You bring punches behind the head movement. Both fighters landed more than 30 blows in round number one. Gotti's jab connect percentage, 12 out of 36, doesn't sound great. That's better than he did in the first fight. Keep waiting on Robinson. He has to, I mean, uh, on Gotti. He has to attack Gotti some. He's letting Gotti bring the fight to him too much now. Robinson not seizing the initiative tonight the way he did so clearly in the first three rounds back on August 22. Well, I think that's because Gotti was readier for him. There's that uppercut. And has been a little bit harder to hit. Roy Jones told you about Robinson's right-hand uppercut and how he tattooed Gotti with it four months ago. Yeah, he has a beautiful right uppercut and a left uppercut. And Gotti has to be careful of both of those punches. I got punches. you, I got you. Nice and easy. Nice and clean. Let's go. Robinson reaching for the body. He hasn't really done any body work early on. Gotti punished Robinson some to the body in round number one. Maker didn't land for Robinson. Left hook does. Good already by Gotti, I think. Yeah, Gotti up. Yep, there's the blood. That left eye again. That left hook seemed to just scrape Gotti as he moved away. I'm not sure it's dangerous. Well, Gotti knows the fight has started now. Yep. If he weren't bleeding, you wouldn't be sure he was breathing. <laughs> Robinson targeting the eye with a right hand haymaker. A little left uppercut underneath. Gotti coming over the top, trying to land against Ivan. Ivan stepping up the accuracy rate down the stretch in round two. Quicker hands, Ivan Robinson. Yeah, very quick hands, Joe. Super fast with his combination. And showing the confidence of a man who believes that he has found his ideal big fight opponent. And he has always been good at the big fights. 
In his career in Philadelphia, he's been booed. But for his big right fights, up out of your chest. I want the he's right been hand right up. there. Get it up. Back on the, the big side. Get it up and go home. No, no problem, Doc. No problem. Now listen to me. Listen. You gotta listen to me. Look. Open this. Yeah. Listen to me. Okay, look. Continue going to your right. Continue going to your right. So let's keep doing it, okay? Look, you had the guy very confused. All of a sudden, you just stay right there. What you do as soon as you get in the inside? I told you to throw uppercut as soon as you get in the inside. Okay, let him work. Let him work, all right? Let him do his job. Look. As soon as you get in close, throw uppercuts. Okay? As soon as you get in the inside, I'll trouble. Give me some uppercuts, okay? Come on, here, drink. Punch, punch, baby, punch. Referee Benji Estevez is saying that the cut came from a butt. Good right hand by Robinson and another. How could you tell? How could you tell if the cut came from a butt in a fight like this against a guy like that? How could you tell? I don't even know. Well, it's possible that he saw it. Sometimes you've seen those things happen. I didn't think there was a butt, to tell you the truth. I didn't either. Good body shot by both fighters. Robinson willing to stand and trade with Gotti. Granny Butch Cafe doesn't want him to do it, but Ivan is so confident, and now Gotti's got him going a little bit. Ivan does a good job of playing posse, too. Makes you think he's got it out, then he rallies back. I think Robinson might have gotten dinged a little bit by one of those shots. He's fine now. But not punching back as Gotti looks for openings. And there's another right hand by Artura. And a left to the body. And a right to the body. I love the body work, Roy. Those That's a smart best, move. Those are the best punches that Artura ever throw. He has to move his head real close, though. Because he does, he's going to get caught with big punches by Robinson. He's standing straight up in front of Robinson. He can't afford to do that. match is over. <laughs> I think it ended in round one. Remember, it's a non-title fight. So again, it's scheduled for 10 rounds. Ivan Robinson grinning to himself as he evades the Gatti onslaught and goes forward in round three. Good jabs by Gatti. Something we didn't see much of in the first fight. Well, that was one thing he promised, was that he would jab better and work behind it. And he's been doing a good job of it. And he's been sneaking in the body shots, too. And Robinson hurts him with a one-two in the middle of the ring. And the blood is flowing a little bit again from Gatti's left eye. This is when Gaddy is dangerous, but Robinson was very measured when he came after him, right here. Well, this is what everybody came to see, folks. Oh, man. Oh, that body shot hurt Gaddy bad. That body shot hurt Gaddy real bad. Arturo's almost out of here. Ivan Robinson just doesn't have the power to put him away. Don't believe that, Jim. He does have the power. He's just not taking his time to set it up. And you have to be careful because this is the best time for Arturo to put him away, too. Right hand landed flush on Gatti's cheek. He makes it out of round three, and Robinson's upset with himself for not having finished him off. 59 out of 100 punches for Ivan Robinson in that round. Stand off. Stay in your pace. Then stay in your pace now. Girl, listen to me. Listen to me. Look. You're coming up high every time. You gotta, when you finish punching, step around the guy. Come on now. Come on. 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 That was a good fucking round, but you let too much happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go in there and take charge of this motherfucker. Uh -huh. This guy. Well, there you can see Robinson working on him. Gaddy lost his driver's license a year and a half ago. He's about to get it back, but right now it looks like he's getting hit by a truck. 
This is what he loves, Larry. Comes out and fires twice to the body. Robinson landed 51 of 84 power shots in the preceding round. Harold Letterman, what's your scorecard so Jim, far? Three to nothing. 30 to 27. Ivan Robinson. Jim, this is the kind of fight that could make you forget Zale Graziano. Incredible fight. Ivan Robinson outboxing him, out punching him, out maneuvering him. Just beating him, beating him in every way. So so far, a shout out for Robinson. That last fight. Last round could have been an eight, a 10 8 round. But I have the same score as Harold. Both fighters a little tired in the first minute of round four. Yeah, but you can bet that there would be more fireworks. And you heard Butch Cafe, Robinson's trainer, telling him you let too much happen in that round. I'm sure it was fun, you got a lot done, but don't let it get that wild. Cognizant of what Larry said to you earlier, Gaddy's never more dangerous than when he's hurt. You know, what we haven't given Robinson enough credit for, both tonight, we did in the last fight, is how he's taken the punches. Yes, he I is. Mean, that's yeah. really why he's still here. He does a superb job of taking punches from a big punch. told us if you miss him you have to be trying to that his head was being pulled down. Estevez says, don't worry, no point will be deducted. Let's keep it, let's keep it clean, let's keep it clean. You all right? Are you okay? Right, and Robinson's go. ready to continue. Let's go, keep it clean. Well, you talked about how Ivan likes to play possum, Roy. He does, and it makes for a very exciting fight. This is what the fans like to see. They like to see it. One guy seems like he's down and out, then the seal come back and triumph again. He's the best at doing this. Robinson said he wanted to hand, hold his hands a little higher tonight and defend himself a little better. I guess Arturo Gatti's just never going to hold his hands up in the middle of a fight like this. No, he sure isn't. That was a terrific left-hand shot by Robinson. You know, he's also taken those body punches very well, Robinson. He says he has some kind of secret in training that steals himself for body punches. Wouldn't even tell us what it was. He says, I'm just not going to tell you what I do to get ready for body shots. Okay. And look at Arturo's Take face. Take that off. Come on. Take it out. Come on. I got that. Listen. Stop moving your head. I'm just standing in one spot now. You understand? Oh, Come on, I give me a break. Oh, no. me from standing in one spot. Don't you stand in one spot for me, okay? Yeah, no, look, yeah, yeah. Yeah. continue to move your head. You got to move your head, baby. You're not moving your head. You stop moving your head all of a sudden. Right. Okay. Look. Okay, Joe. Joe. Use the jab a little bit more this round, okay? Mm. Give me the jab a little bit more. You must dead, baby. You Come on. Dead. Come on. You must hit him in the cup. If he hit you in the cup, you hit his ass. This man go. is desperate. The man is winking, blanking. The Easy. man is hurt. The man is cut. Get out. You listening to me? Uh -huh. Punch, step him out. Punch, step him out. Stay the body and up. Body and up. Good left hand here by Robinson. Left, right, middle. When you go to a lot of fights, all you do is get a little older watching the fights. In Gaddy's fights, you can hardly breathe. <laughs> To give you an idea of what the action has been like between these two guys, round four was a relatively slow round, and still, they combined to throw nearly 150 punches and to land more than 60 of them. Almost all power shots. That's all I think they throw. Got him with a little burst of energy now to begin round five. The fighters have been fighting Jersey fighters. 
50 years. He fights like me. Oh, what a vicious left hook by Gotti. Robinson against the ropes and not drawing. Now he springs off to throw the right hand lead. And Arturo gets hit flush again and again. And Parson, like I told you, Jim, you always play Parson, this guy, uh, uh, Robinson. They're punching each other's legs and everything. There's an old saying, if you beat a guy once, you can beat him twice. And right now, Robinson is beating Gaddy twice. Which places in question Gaddy's future, certainly at this level in the sport. Well, 1998 could turn out to be a lost year for him. Except in his wallet. <laughs> I'd say he's the only fighter beside Mike Tyson that it really doesn't make any difference whether he's got a title or not because of his appeal. But you got to win. Oh, good combination by him. Yeah, Tyson's only lost two in a row. The fighters in both fights who had a little movement, a little quickness, have been dominant. Yep. Speed kills. Marcus's speed killed Yori Boy Campus tonight, and Robinson's speed is doing the same to Gary. Well, I can guarantee you, Gotti won't be quitting on the stool. Five rounds in the books. Complete dominance so far for Ivan Robinson as he looks for another victory over Arturo Gotti. There's the work facing Joe Souza, the cut man, in Gotti's corner. Nothing new about that. We'll show you what his left eye has looked like in various earlier fights, going back to his first bout with Tracy Harris Patterson in 1995. You can see what the left eye looked like there, along with the swelling around the right eye, versus Wilson Rodriguez in March of 96. Unbelievably, he came back to win that fight by knockout. The cut against Manfredi cost him the fight eventually. It was stopped in the eighth. And, of course, that's the way his eye looked in the closing rounds against get Ivan down, Robinson down. four months ago. Okay, get down from me. Get down from me. Not all yeah. stop. Beautiful, beautiful. No, come on, come on. Everything got to go on. You know, you letting this guy, he's got the right cut, man. Joe Souza once told me that he loved big cuts. He loves them. <laughs> Susan and Gaddy are a good match. Susan once told me that in the, when he was in the Army, his job was testing parachutes. You can imagine that. Roy, Arturo Gotti is starting to lunge and push his punches. They don't have snap anymore. What's nope. happening? He's, his arm's getting a little bit weary, but he does bring one when it's time to bring a snapping punch, Jim. That's one thing about Arturo. He always can bring one when it's time to bring it. But right now, his arm's getting a little weary. He's not seeing big openings, so he's not throwing these big punches now. He's trying to find himself open like right there. Then he rushes the punch, like that body shot. He crouches See? to go to the body and lands a big body shot with the left hand. He rushes them only when it's time to rush them, and that's a very conservative way to fight. Actually, I should say very economical way to fight. Uh huh. Don't waste the big punch. Right. You know energy. Yeah. Oh, go. Until oh, the moment oh, comes. Oh, he's just going to have to hope that a moment comes. And Stevens with the second warning for low blows. Still no point deduction. and 
looking, waiting for the opening, firing those uppercuts that Roy Jones told you would score. That is his most effective punch against a true guy. Trying to get to Ivan's body. Left hook lands for Robinson. Now Arturo with some destructive work. Robinson still effectively taking the best Arturo Gotti can hit him with and Yeah, I think that shot hurt Gotti bad. Flush uppercut landed for Robinson. Round six comes to a close. You're surprised they know which way the corners are after yeah, a round man. like that. Put your legs out. Stop him. Put up and down. Stop him up. Stop him up. Oh Every day in the gym. Every day in the gym we work on you getting down, right? Getting down and when you get inside, you go body and you go uppercut, then you start the body, right? Okay, you're not doing that. You 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 too desperate, okay? Johnny got his lip. Okay, hitting out no problem. Yeah, sure. Alright, don't, don't freeze, don't Look, freeze. Don't stand straight up, you're getting up too high. Come on, get down for me, alright? You gotta get down for me, alright? Move your head. When you get in close, you gotta stay to the body. You're hurting this guy in the body, you're killing this guy in the body. Then you gotta throw up the Robinson has even been getting the best of it in the end fighting as that uppercut clearly shows. If you're fast from the outside, you can be fast from the inside. Robinson's brave on the inside. He's quick. And when he sees an opportunity, he capitalizes. Harold, how do you have it through six? Jim, 59, 55, five rounds to one. Ivan Robinson. Jim, let me tell you something. This is very interesting. If this fight gets stopped by the cut on Arturo Gabby's eye, we go to the scorecards because, to determine the winner. Because Benji Esteves scored in a head fight. So if the cut gets you go to the score clause. Also, I think they ought to move Joe Souza inside the ring to work on Danny, give him a little leverage so he can work on a cut or work on a swelling. You mean between rounds, right. not during the fight. <laughs> get, get, get Lou Duva on the, on the apron now and put Souza in front of the fighter where he can get some leverage. I was just getting ready to say, Lou Duva has to leave the ring for Joe Souza to come in there. I'm not entirely certain it's going to happen. Duva's a big security blanket for most of the fighters he works with. Gotti, of course, is with its third different head trainer in as many fights. Now that Ronnie Shields is in charge. It's just amazing what Gaddy puts himself through. I wouldn't want to be in a war and go against the platoon of these guys. <laughs> and you see Gotti trying to give Ronnie Shields the bending and dipping that Shields was looking for and trying to work to the body, but all the time that Gotti is looking for openings to do this, Robinson's just hitting him and hitting him and hitting him upstairs. Look at Ivan work. Dennis lets him get away with him. He tried to punch, he tried to punch out in the legs to stop Robinson from being able to move. He's landed a couple punches down on the hip and the thigh. But he's beating his legs so that he won't be so mobile. And it works. <laughs> <laughs> that you guys have tried to do it to you. Yes, it happened to me all throughout my amateur career. And my professional career. Right cross. Scraped across Gotti's chin by Robinson. Now that 
Sherwood lands on the kisser. And that one. And that one. Got him just eating right hands here. Taking a terrible beating at this point. Too much. Too much. I don't care how much you love Arturo Gatti, and so many of these fans do, it can't be fun to watch him take a beating like that. I'm going to tell you this, right? If you don't, you don't, if you start taking too many punches, I'm going to stop this fight. You understand? Your parents stay in this fight. Eight miles, you stand it straight up. What you doing? You've been working on getting down, getting down. And then keep punching, all right? Look. I'm going to tell you something. If you, you don't stop, if you, you don't stop moving your head, I'm going to stop the fight. It's the same thing. Okay? Yeah, look at the All night long. You way behind. Now, you better go out there and start whipping on this boy real good, or we going home with a fucking loss. Here's Robinson torturing Arturo Getty from the outside, just popping him, belting him. Well, and, and Butch Cafe, trainer for Robinson, without benefit of our videotape, of course, says to Robinson between rounds, you're way behind, you better go out and start whooping on this boy or we're going home with a loss. I think Robinson looked at him like he was a little bit nuts. <laughs> he said, you're, you're kidding. Motivating the fighter. This after a round in which CompuBox counted Robinson throwing 117 punches and landing 77 of them. I don't know that we've ever had a round in which a fighter has landed 77 punches. That's just torture. You know, we've talked about Archie Moore a little bit tonight. He fought a famous fight against the top Philadelphia fighter, Harold Johnson. Losing the fight, knocked out Johnson in a late round. Left hook landed for Gotti. Just with Robinson, you never know when he's really stunned or just playing possum. Yep, and that's very small on his part. Now there's the low blow for which Gotti's going to lose a point. And, and to our eyes, of course, it would hardly matter. Arturo seemingly well behind on the scorecards anyway. Exactly right. So Estevez takes a point from Gotti. And Robinson keels over to get his breath. And the punch hit him in the leg, incidentally, not in the cup. So I think Ivan is acting a little bit here, as get, he's known to do. Get him a break, play a possum again. <laughs> Neither of these guys is what Archie Moore used to call a Yamadu. Are you ready? What's a Yamadu? I knew you were going to do that, Jim. Let's go, let's keep it. A Yamadu, Archie used to say, is a kind of a punk. A tomato can. You might have gotten that expression from Tasmania or someplace. But neither of these guys is a Yamadu. And incidentally, you asked uh, when somebody had landed 77 punches in a round. And CompuBox comes up with the info. Michael Spinks landed 84 of 101 against Jerry Cooney in the fifth round of their fight, also here in Atlantic City. Right now, Gotti is about as immobile and as easy a target as Jerry Cooney. Not a pretty picture from Gaddy's, or from Robinson's point of view. <laughs> I mean, he can see Gaddy, and it isn't a pretty picture, but it's a pretty picture for him. The last fight was a split decision, as one of the three judges, perhaps enamored of the Gaddy mystique, had him winning the bout. Arturo banging to the body as Ronnie Shields asked him to do. And shaking his head as if to say, too little, too late, my man. I've beaten you up again. Oh, good body shot by Arturo. Arturo's alive and well again as he bangs away at Robinson. And I think those body shots have suddenly taken a lot out of Ivan. I know they have. They've been taking a lot of them all night. And now the leg punches are also catching up with Ivan. Those leg punches, the knees are too restored so that Ivan couldn't run from this body shot. But Ivan's more, he'll play part, and he'll get himself back to the center. That is best round by far. A big rally. Just 
just when we were about to count him out. All right, now that's the kind of round you got to keep giving me, okay? Look, keep, keep doing that. You go to the body, now look. Just try to hit him too hard to the top. Go to the body and throw uppercut. The body uppercut, body uppercut. Keep your head moving like that. Keep your head moving, okay? Look. Letting the guy work. He working your body and you're letting him work. You're standing he ain't there. fucking hitting my body. Hit me low. I don't care where he hit me. He working. Right, okay, cool. You ain't. Right. Bring it down. This man working his Stop butt him. off. The man's Stop that's really. Stop him. Stop the man him. is working and you looking at it. Come on, let's go. Three warnings or two warnings and a loss of a point. That was in the fourth round for Gaddy. That's in the sixth round. And there in the eighth. But here's what the body shots have done. After throwing 117 punches in the seventh round, Robinson was reduced to throwing only 63 in the eighth. And now Gotti is clearly the aggressor. Stop popping on that eye, man. Just take this boy out of here with TKO. Come on, what's on that eye? 
five is. Oh, listen to me. The last round, this is it. You gotta stop this guy. All right? It's the last round. Last round. Look at the last round. Last round. Let's go. Arturo, you gotta keep your hands moving, all right? Look, stay down low. In a similar circumstance on August 22, Arturo Gotti came close. Came close to scoring the miracle knockout over Robinson. He never threw the body shot that might have closed the deal, as you pointed out, Roy Jones, earlier this evening when we looked at the tape. That's right. You see what effect the body shots have had this time already. But Robinson has fought a beautiful fight tonight. Both fighters have fought a beautiful fight. I love to see these type of fights. Um, these two guys are great for one another. Two former training partners and good friends, Harold Letterman, how do you have it through nine? Chip, six, two, one even, 87-83. Robinson. I mean, I think they just, I was out punching him, out landing him. Arturo Gatti getting away with murder with those low blows. The one round I have even is the eighth because Gatti won it. Avengers Stevens took away a point. That becomes a nine line round, so that's the even round. So, so far, Robinson by four points. Haven't we been in this movie before? Several times. Stalking and assaulting Robinson, stopping him momentarily with the left hand. Gotti has had one tenth round knockout before in his career. He knocked out a fighter named Richard Salazar in the tenth back in 1994. Good left hook inside by Ivan Robinson, fighting under control in this tenth round. Robinson's corner asked for a TKO. I think the mighty Ivan knows. And if he finishes, he's likely to get the decision again. And now up on his toes, jabbing and boxing for the first time in a few rounds. But here comes Gatti. Desperate, exhausted. First tackle of the night. <laughs> well, something happened to his head, though. Uh, he rubbed his eye into the canvas, it seemed. time when he fell down on the canvas. Hard to see him getting it done now. He hasn't invested in body shots in this round to set up the upstairs assault. Ivan Robinson willing to trade with Arturo. I tell you what, I've been throwing some good body shots myself in this round, Jim. Suddenly, Gaddy yeah, has a spring in his step. Where did that come from? That body shot may have hurt, may have hurt, may have hurt Gaddy. Robinson giving back as good as he's getting. Gaddy not able to wobble Robinson here the way he did in the tenth round of their first fight. I think the the, reason, the main reason Robinson has been able to win these fights, and we assume he's won this fight, is his ability to take a punch as well as to get one. Well said. Ivan Robinson and Arturo Gatti have completed 20 rounds of blistering warfare in 1998. And for the second time, it would appear that Robinson has earned the victory. But of course, you take nothing for granted. This is the same room in which Shannon Briggs got a decision over George Foreman last year. What I remember is that Archie Moore, after one of these fights, the first words out of his mouth in the press conference would be, Was that entertaining, fellas? <laughs> Well, tonight's answer would be a resounding, oh yes. Harold, let's take a look at your card round by round. Okay, Jim, I got it 96, 93, 6, 3, 1 in rounds. 
Ivan Robinson. I would hate to see the judges steal it from Ivan. I thought he fought his heart out. He certainly outpunched him. He uh, outboxed him. I mean, he outmaneuvered him. Beautiful ring generalship. He just got out of the way of a lot of Gotti's hard shots. He wore Arturo Gotti down, left him a bleeding, battered, bloody mess. I mean, to me, it was all Ivan Robinson. Arturo Gotti certainly got away with a lot of low blows in that fight. I just think uh, uh, Ivan Robinson dominated him enough so that he should get this decision. But if there's a bad omen in Harold's scorecard for Ivan Robinson, it would be that Harold gave the ninth and the tenth rounds to Gotti. If some of the other judges had it closer than you did, Harold, and they agreed with you about the closing rounds, I always say, who knows? Now let's go to ring announcer Mark Barrow for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge George Colon scores it 95-94. Judge Joseph Pasquale scores it 95-94. And Judge Gene Williams scores it 97-92. All to the winner by unanimous decision, Ivan Mighty. So another huge victory for Robinson, well deserved, and after Arturo Gatti's third consecutive loss of 1998, inevitably you must wonder where his career goes from here. Final punch stat numbers. And you will see the lopsided numbers in favor of Robinson landing 98 more punches, throwing 102 more punches, connecting at a higher percentage, generally controlling the mood and texture of the fight. Power punches, and Robinson held his own there too, landing two more than Gatti, throwing 35 fewer, landing at a higher percentage. Artura Gatti doing a great job in the closing rounds of the fight to keep it competitive and stay alive with a chance. Larry Merchant stands by now with the winner. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Ivan, was this easier than the last time? Why would you ask me that? Now, you know that. I mean, um, you know, I can't take nothing away from Maturo. Maybe he was 100% tonight. He was a lot better than the first fight. I told you that yesterday. In what way? Well, he, I told you that he was probably going to I figured he was going to come in and try to still slug. Uh, Ronnie and them did a great job with him moving his head. I couldn't hit him as much on top. Uh, he was getting under the shots. But a lot of those shots wasn't body shots, Larry. They was cup shots. Well, let me ask you about the body shots. You told us you had a secret to prepare for body oh, shots. Oh, and I'm still not going to tell you the secret. But um, he hit me with some good body shots. They was particularly because I didn't see him. Uh, Arturo is a great body puncher. He hurt me at Do times. You, you said this fight was personal. He hit you in some personal places and hit you a lot well, here. Well, you know, well, if you look at the strategy of the first fight, you figure Arturo was going to try to slow me down because I had the quicker hands, I had the better movement. But, um, you know, we'll go back to the gym and we'll work on that. Is Shane Mosley the lightweight champion next for you? Whatever HBO want to do, whatever the doers want to do, whatever my team want to do, we'll take, you know, whatever comes forward. I mean, I believe that I'm elite with the uh, top champions out there. If Shane Mosley want to fight me, come on, Shane. Well, not many people want to say, come on, Shane. Thank you, Ivan Robinson. Thank you, Larry. Jim? All right, quick question, Roy Jones. Shane Mosley is a better, sharper, quicker fighter than Arturo Gatti, who also hits hard. What could Robinson do against him? He'd have to try to box him just like he did against uh, Gotti. Robinson is a superb boxer. He's shown twice that he can stand there. He even showed a better ability to take a punch this time than he did last time. So he's constantly improving, and I think that would be a beautiful fight. Let's go back to Larry Merchant with the valiant Arturo Gotti. Jim, as, as Ivan Robinson and his team were leaving, one of his handlers said, we don't want to fight this guy again. He's a maniac. But again, you've lost three terrific but losing fights this year. Uh, I don't know what to say. I did my best. Um, Ivan is just a good boxer. You know? I, uh, I, started, I think I started too late again. And, uh, and I, I kept going off my game plan. You hit him in the body a lot. You even hit him some good shots. Has anybody you've ever fought taken a punch as well as him? Yeah, I mean, he's a good defensive fighter. I don't know if he can take a good punch, but he sure does uh, block good. 
you know. And uh, that's what makes the difference of this fight. I mean, he's, he's got good defense, and I really have a hard time connecting my punches right on him. Are you going to reassess your career now, whether you want to keep fighting at this weight, um, whether you want to keep fighting, and how you're going to continue? Uh, Larry Mitch and I really don't know right now. Uh, I just want to say hi to my mom in Montreal, Canada. I'm going to go see her for Christmas. And after that, after New Year's, we'll talk with me and Lou and main event to see what I'm going to do, move up or stay at one lot. 135. I am going to fight again. And I think I still have it. And uh, I mean, Robert is such a good boxer. You know, I can't take nothing away from him. Thank you again for a terrific it's a, fight. It's a pleasure being on HBO. And thank you very much, Larry. Thank you, Arturo. And just this final word, we've mentioned Archie Moore a lot tonight. And I feel obligated.